Alright, something bad is happening to Misty Coins. Or good, if you own thousands of them. Two years ago, they were selling for about 75 silver apiece, which meant relatively cheap legendaries, unique skins and even achievements. Those days seem to be long gone, as we're paying over 2 gold per coin and we're basically back to 2021 price levels. There is a bit of a wall at 2.2 gold right now, but once that breaks, we might well be on our way to 2.4 or even 2.5 gold per coin. Even if you don't have any plans on using them for yourself, you could still try and get as many as possible per week and sell them for some extra spending money. So let's take a look at how we can hit those weekly maximums, what they actually are, and maybe equally as important, how to spend the least amount ourselves. Anybody can get 60 coins for 9 astral acclaim each per season, or in other words, every time we get a major patch, which is about 3 or 4 times a year. If you know you're going to need a bunch of them, or you want to opportunistically stock up on them, it's worth monitoring them on the trading post for the first few days after every big update. More often than not, the price will drop in anticipation of there being a fresh injection, and a lot of players rely on these for gold. Whenever there is a festival ongoing, you could also buy a limited amount per week for whatever the event currency is. Right now, you can buy 3 coins for 5 bubble bubbles, which is a lot or not at all, depending on how much you like running the super adventure box. For all other acquisition methods, we're gonna take a look at the 3 different game modes. You can purchase up to 10 coins per week for 10 green profit shards each, which you get by participating in the current expansion strikes. So right now, it's definitely worth doing the daily Soto strike, which takes less than 10 minutes, or even both of them. Do know that there is a limit of 100 shards per week from completions and attempts, and another 60 for doing the daily and weekly achievements. If you've never done strikes, join a group without any requirement. There's usually multiple around, they're really fun to do, and they're not that hard. All you need to know is to move away from your teammates with an orange circle and stack on top of each other with a green circle or with a green arrow. All the rest will take care of itself. Your second option would be the Daily Leyline Anomaly, which is an event that occurs in the Gandharan Fields, Iron Marches or Timberline Falls. You can keep track of the time and location through the Event Timers page on the wiki. Just make sure you show up a few minutes beforehand, because the map will fill up rather quickly. And if PvE isn't your thing, or you simply want more coins, then World v World might be an option. Although, I have to admit, the rewards really are not in line with the effort you gotta put in. You can get 2 coins per week from the gold reward chest, and 4 more from the diamond chest. If you already spent countless of hours per week there, these are a nice bonus. But for anyone else, getting to those chests just takes too long, and you can farm 12 golds in about half an hour and buy the same amount on the trading post instead. And that brings us to structured PvP, which will be the most skill-based method of acquiring coins. Every day, you can get anywhere from 1 to 5 from the daily automated tournament, which takes place roughly every 3 hours. And once per month, you can get up to 100 coins for winning the monthly automated tournament. Depending on the time of day you play at, getting the maximum rewards for the daily should be feasible if you spend some time practicing. The monthly, however, is a different beast altogether. You're most likely to meet other top players, and if you happen to be one of them, well, congrats, you'll probably get a boatload every single month for doing what you love. And if you do want some extra motivation to become a top player yourself, you can get a pretty cool title for coming in first in the monthly, and a unique gizmo that changes every month that will display a cool visual above your character. These are the most consistent methods of getting Mystic Coins, but there are a few other ones, although as with a lot of things, they will be subject to RNG. If you're using your Mystic Coins to craft them into clovers through the Mystic Forge, you could get 5 or 50 back, depending on which recipe you're using. There is also a rare chance of getting a coin from the material bags from Blackline chests. I've already made a guide on how you can farm Blackline keys, so you don't have to necessarily spend either your gems or your money on them. Next up is a gizmo. If you've done the collection for Aurora, which is one of the legendary trinkets and definitely worth getting, you have a small chance of getting a coin from feeding it one of your ascended materials. And finally, there's also a chance of getting a coin from fractal chests. So doing daily fractals is definitely worth it. Even if you don't get any coins, you'll still get a bunch of gold for the daily tier 4, the recommended or even the challenge mode fractals. There is technically one more option, and those are the bags of mystic coins from certain weapon caches. I have never really considered these myself, as I prefer unlocking the skins over getting 6 extra coins, but if you still need to do these achievements, it could be worth considering. This covers all of the methods of acquiring mystic coins, but as with anything in life, how you acquire them is usually only part of the equation. 
how you spend them is often just as important. If you only want them for gold, this is a great time to cash in. I'm not saying the price won't go up anymore, but two gold apiece is definitely great value. But if you plan on using your coins for crafting, it's definitely worth knowing how you can spend them. Or more importantly, how to reduce the amount you will spend. I already mentioned the Mystic Forge for Clovers, which tends to scare people away due to the RNG element. Depending on which recipe you use, you have just under 31% chance of getting a clover. Every fail attempt will yield some materials, which more often than not you will also need for making legendaries. And if you do get lucky, you might get 5 or 50 coins back. If you don't want to subject yourself to RNG, then you'll have to use one of the many vendors. The Raid, Strike, Fractal and World v World vendors all require 2 coins and some other resources. Whatever you do, do not buy any from Lyr since not only will he ask for 3 coins, he'll also ask for more Ectos and Spirit Shards than any of his counterparts. At that point, you're better off taking your chances with the Mystic Forge. When you're making legendaries, there's no real way around the above methods. You could technically buy generation 1 and 3 legendaries from the trading post, but usually the crafting cost is baked into their prices. If you want to unlock specific skins, however, it pays off doing your research and double checking the trading post for every single one of them especially for the ones that require 50 or even 100 coins and are available for a much cheaper price. There are also some extremely expensive cooking recipes, which aren't really worth spending your coins on. Sure, some of them will allow you to recover whatever investment you made over time, but especially right now, you're better off taking your chances with a couple of buy orders and hope those fail. So yeah, there you go. Try and get your daily and weekly maximums and think twice before spending or simply sell your Mystic Coins as long as the current craze lasts. If the next patch has a Mystic Coin Sync for any of the unlockables, or maybe even the tier 2 legendary armor, we might be in for an even wilder ride though.